Hey guys, happy December 30th. We are in Nashville for the first time ever. We have never been to Nashville and I've been wanting to come ever since I um, started watching Chris and Cavallari's show, Very Cavallari on E. Um, and we're actually in the Gulch right now where Uncommon James is located. So that's super exciting. I'm gonna go there later, but right now we're gonna go to Milk and Honey. Um, they said the wait was like 25 to 30 minutes, which we were gonna go to Pancake Pantry, but that line was like standing outside, which honestly these people are standing outside too. Do you wanna get gloves and stuff? I feel like the scenery in Nashville is so like different, so, you so know? Stuff everywhere. Yeah, oh, it's so cool. So there is an hour to an hour and 15 wait for two people, but we're gonna do it. I think Pancake Pantry was like 25 minutes and Ryan like couldn't wait, so it's karma. I love a man in uniform with a camera on his hand. <laughs> <laughs> So we were just walking and we came upon the wing wall. Me and Ryan are gonna try to do this thing where every picture I take, he's gonna take, like especially on the murals. I think that would be really funny. So I'm gonna place it here and you choose who did it better. All right, so we're gonna ride birds to Uncommon James. Yeah. Ryan keeps joking that he's like seeing everyone from Very Cavalry. He's like, there's Shannon Ford, there's Jay Cutler. I saw Jay yeah, Cutler's yeah. truck, I'm gonna kill him. It may have been his truck, but yeah. what the <laughs> heck? Guys, we found it. Uncommon James! So exciting, but they don't open until 11 on Sundays, and today's a Sunday. It's usually, now. yeah, usually they open at 10, so it would be perfect. But we're just trying to waste time because our wait for our breakfast is pretty long. But like, literally, like every wall here, you can take a cute Instagram on. Just like this whole area is super, super cute. I was thinking the Gulch was gonna be like way smaller, you yeah. know, like more of a, an Avalon thing, but this is like. All these buildings, I think, obviously, this is like the Gulch area, right? So it's definitely a gentrified area. Like they turn these old warehouses into like nice stores and like apartments and stuff. That's so cute. For the longest time, I really wanted to buy like a ring or anything from Uncommon James, just because like I watch the show and I think it's really cool, you know, supporting like a brand that you like watch and follow along with. But Ryan just bought me like a bunch of rings on Etsy, so I don't know if it's financially smart for me to buy one but like in my heart I do want to buy one maybe if they come out with like more design I feel like they don't really have that much variety and it's like pretty basic but whatever That I've ever seen on Pinterest about Nashville is in the Gulch. Like so all, yeah, I've seen this. It was on a Pinterest guide. Right now we're at the barista parlor. I don't know what it is, but I'm guessing it's like some kind of food. It looks like it'd be an ice cream shop, but people would not be eating ice cream right now. So I don't think it's an ice cream shop, but it's super cute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
tried. Well, I already got my makeup all over it on that side, so you had to change anyways, eventually. So if you guys have ever watched one of my travel vlogs, you might know that I love to get my Insta pics in. So I did a little bit of an outfit change. I wasn't planning on like wearing this whole ensemble, but I got inspired by Nashville gal in the breakfast place. So I just threw on this little outfit. It was just a little bit of stairs and I can't breathe. God, God bless. So now we're gonna walk around. This building literally has Raymond James, Deloitte, Cushman and Wakefield, Synovus. Like literally every like big company ever. <laughs> Geek talk. <laughs> it's like finance talk. I don't even know if we told you guys where we are right now. So around Milk and Honey, there's these flights of stairs and we just went up them and we're kind of just exploring. <laughs> I thought it was going to be more of like a belt line, like more walking place, but it's just, it's just a sidewalk. <laughs> so we're just kind of like walking along the highway, but there's a lot of cool buildings to see over here. What's this building? If it's the right Cummins I'm thinking of, it's like people who the people who make like the best engines for trucks. So like they were with Dodge Cummins and now it's like Nissan Cummins. Hmm. They just make really good engines. Good diesel, to know. Yeah, diesel engines. If anyone is from Nashville, let me know what this thing is because it's really pretty and huge. I want to know. Museum. Art museum? Hmm. They have a lot of parking for it though. So we're gonna try to go to Uncommon James again because now they're actually open. It is, it's 12.50. And by the way, there is a time change here if you like live where I live. <laughs> um, so it's just like an hour back, which isn't too bad, but I'm excited to go into Uncommon James. Um, I'll see what they have, but I'm trying to tell myself like don't buy anything because you know, probably wouldn't be the smartest idea right now. On the way here, we passed the wings again and the line was insane to like actually just take a picture with this mural. It was like literally insane. I wonder if the Wings mural is new. Cause I feel like I've just, really? I feel like I've just started seeing that. And maybe that's why it's like so popular with the line. I'm not sure about like other murals cause we haven't seen them yet. Here goes nothing. It's too chunky. I'm not good. <laughs> That's not bad. My chubby ass fingers. So what did you think of the store? Pretty disappointing. <laughs> Kristen, if you're watching this. Brian! <laughs> uh, I mean, I can't believe it took him that long to set up that store. I'd say two weeks. It's got a point. Bring some racks in there, lay jewelry on shelves. Like, I mean, yeah. I was like, I didn't make a whole show out of that. Like, and, and the... The outside is nicer than the inside, honestly. No, like, the Uncommon James, like, that part, that whole thing is really cute. It's really just an Instagram. Like, it's nothing to buy there, really, even. Yeah, and, like, the jewelry, like, I thought it was going to be, like, super high quality and stuff like that. And, like, it's fine, but, like... It might be like a little thicker and like a little nicer quality than like Forever 21, but it's nothing like insane, you know, that I would be like, oh my God, but it's like so high quality that I have to buy it and I know it's gonna like Yeah, like a changing be good. room and like no clothes, had baby clothes. No, but in the show she was like, oh yeah, because I wanna like expand it later on. So she just like built it in there. I honestly wish that they gave like back room tours because I think that's where like all of the He's, shit went yeah, down, no, you know? I think that's cool, but. Also like no one would be in this store. Like there's like old people who are eating and they didn't know what was going on. There's like people looking over here like, what is that? Right. But they're about, they're about to come in here and see what it is. They're <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, why is anyone going in this store? I know, seriously that show probably like. Like there's no way anyone here would buy something from there if it wasn't famous. I'm sorry, I'm a hypocrite. I mean, a, uh, I'm a critic.
Oh, I'm about to go in there. What's this sword about? Oh my god, they really are. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You're gonna be so upset. I got a picture on the couch, though. Like, the couch. The couch. And Where with she the got wings. interviewed and didn't, want the, didn't get the job because she. No, I think that was in the back room. Oh, uh, yeah. That was way bigger on TV. Yeah. Well, because you see that whole back room? That looks 100 times bigger yeah, than the actual the store. store. Yeah. What's Jay doing here? And I walked in. And I was like, get back to work, ladies. <laughs> and I was like, get back to work. <laughs> that was pretty good. Thanks. If I had a whole lot of money to spend, then I would have definitely bought something just because it was the show. But like, I bet that was half of the people there, you know what I mean? We saw a girl walking with a bag, and I was like, well, actually, there was someone holding a huge bag. I'm like, I know, I saw that what too. What did you buy? Like, I know. I was trying to decide to tell what to tell people when they asked who I was. Jay Cutler? No, I decided a Tennessee Titans football player because they don't have a game today. Mm. <laughs> But they had a game today and I couldn't be because it's Sunday and I wouldn't beat the game. Right. Makes sense. So I can't beat one. <laughs> also, I found out what that like castle thing was. It's called the Union Station. Mm -hmm. I guess it has something to do with trains or something, but it's so pretty. What's this up here? More or is castle. that? Was... <laughs> I'm confused now. We were one street over I guess... when we were walking. Well, no, they, I guess they look the same, so I don't know what this mm. is now. There's all these castle-like buildings over here, but... Morgan and Morgan and Morgan and Morgan and Morgan. Oh, Morgan and Morgan? <laughs> Is that Morgan? It's Morgan and Morgan. It's Morgan, in the paper. It's Morgan. It's Morgan and Morgan. <laughs> what the hell? Bridgestone or... Morgan? This is literally, like, what I thought Nashville was. Like, that pink building, all this red brick. Like, literally, I didn't even know that Nashville had... Like a downtown area. Like yeah, what the hell? This is. It literally looks like New Orleans, even though I've never been there either. But. It's where the Audit Bachelor was. Yeah, me too. It's kind of like random. Yeah. <laughs> Arrived. Update. It's not a pink building, it's purple. But I swear all the pictures make it look like it's pink. There's Honky Tonk. But I don't know if that's the Honky Tonk, because it says Layla's Honky Tonk. I don't know, I'm just confused. Like a really big cheesy Athens. Like the guy is into bars. And yeah. Like... That honestly reminds me of like a street in Athens, like right here. Mm -hmm. The Magnolia is like right here, but this is like whatever. Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like cheesy, all these like little signs are like all animated and weird, you know? Yeah. It's all red. Oh my god, there's a tour bus. There's a fight here. This is like a what? I'm confused. I'm, in I'm overwhelmed. Okay, I'm, in I'm a lot of things right now. So we just parked near Broadway, and first of all, it's crazy over here. Way, way more crazy than whatever the Gulch was. Yeah. Well, honestly, we got there so early, and then I started to see like the crowd form and stuff. But we had to pay fifteen dollars for one hour of parking. That's insane. I was thinking we probably should have even like Ubered here. That probably would have been cheaper. We could have stayed yeah. for longer, you know? Yeah, literally been parking. Yeah. Alright guys, we are going to explore the Honky Tonks. I hope that's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, Honky Tonk Central. Don't know what I'm getting myself into. It's a little bit loud over here. <laughs> Look at all those girls. Alright guys. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Alright. Alright. Alright guys. <laughs> Get in mode, babe. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop. So we have another outfit change. Got this big old coat on because it is kind of getting a little chilly. It was like not getting hot, but like it was kind of getting a little warm um, earlier in the sun. Then the sun went down and it's gonna be bad weather for the next like two days. So we enjoyed the sun while it lasted, but now we are at. We are. <laughs> we're, we're at 12 south um yeah. this was also recommended like a billion times to me 
It's like a Hallmark movie. And driving like, through, there's like Christmas stuff everywhere, and it's like old cars driving around. And like, yeah, it's so everybody cute. Everybody knows each other by name, and so snow globes. <laughs> Why? Every time, every time you think of a Hallmark movie, it's like, I'm gonna go into a Christmas store and buy a snow globe. So they all do. <laughs> we were driving in and we saw two Instagram walls back to back, so I'll show you it over here. There is a big line, so I don't know if I'm gonna take a picture with it. There's this Draper James place, and Ryan's like, what is that store? And I'm like, it's Reese Witherspoon's store. I don't know why I know that or if it even is, because I think I read that somewhere. He's like, how do you know that? I did a lot of Nashville research and not making shit up. All right guys, so this is one of the walls. It's just like blue and white stripes. And then on this brick side is the I Believe in Nashville, the American flag one. So we're just shopping around 12 South and I found these cute sunglasses for only 10 bucks. So we ended up not getting coffee at Frothy Monkey, but we got it. Yeah, somewhere else. We got a cookie from Five Daughters Bakery. Is it good? It's okay. I literally spotted another Instagram wall from literally a mile away. It's the Nashville Looks Good on You wall, which is like one of the ones I definitely wanted to go to. It's behind Frothy Monkey, BT Dubs. So every mural that we've come across has like a line. So while we're oh in God. line, I will show you the t-shirt that I just got from Forward Clothing. Is it how it is called? Forward Clothing. It is 100% polyester and literally I always am looking for 100% polyester because it means it's like the soft, like flowy shirts. Um, and yeah, it says Nashville with the little skyline and it's like distressing stuff. And I really need to invest in other t-shirts because half of my wardrobe is sorority t-shirts and in six months or so, I'm not gonna be able to wear them anymore because it's kind of weird. So yeah, I have to invest in other shirts. Instagram clan meeting up behind all the places that take pictures of each other. <laughs> crack it. Shit, I. <laughs> they do pick pictures. Babe, I wish I had that Instagram clan, but I have you, even better. I know. not like something I do but it's so like funny and cute because I got him his airpods for I don't know what it was like his birthday I think um but he loves them he always uses them we stopped at White Bison it's our last stop of the day um we're still in 12 South and I got uh raspberry hibiscus tea Ryan got a cold brew but I was just like feeling something refreshing because I'm like really dehydrated I did not drink enough water today next we're going to head to our Airbnb um, we're meeting up with Ryan's friends and their girlfriends and it's gonna be really fun we're going to Acme tomorrow night with them for New Year's Eve So last night we went out to Broadway Street, I think that's what it's called, and we went into some really cool bars. We went into Florida Georgia Line Bar and they were being really, really strict on IDs. And like, I'm 22 and they were like comparing my ID to like some other ID and I was like, I really want you to get a cop over here right now and scan my freaking ID because like, what the hell, you know? And like, I get it, you have to be like super nitpicky with that kind of thing because some people do slip in. Um, but like, 
I remember walking out and this girl was like screaming at the, um, what's it called? Bouncer. The bouncer. And she was like, what the hell? I'm like 22. And like literally all her friends got denied at the bar. And this guy was like, I'm 24. Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, I was so shook. They need a better system to maybe scan IDs. They were just like going off what they thought. That's not right. So for all those underage people that are coming to Nashville, be careful because especially that one was pretty strict. We went to Luke Bryan and I don't think they like barely even looked at our IDs. That whole street looks so much cooler at nighttime than it does the daytime because all the lights are like blinking and like it looks like Nashville if that makes sense. But it started to pour really bad last night and like this whole day it's gonna be super rainy but I looked at the weather and it said that it shouldn't be raining tonight like New Year's Eve so hopefully it doesn't because that would really really suck. The rain literally just killed the vibe of last night also it was like super So sorry about the rain noises. We just got done with breakfast. So it was called like Nashville Jam something like that and it was actually really really good. It's like this literal house that is like made into a restaurant so it like kind of looks sketchy at first but they have all of these jams that you can try with your biscuits and i actually tried hot chicken for the first time ever and it wasn't what i was expecting because this hot chicken was like breaded in like the spicy batter i guess but they also put like hot sauce on it and i don't think that's normal for the like sauce to be on it but we also want to try hattie b's hopefully tonight or tomorrow we'll see but i definitely need to get hattie b's before we leave I had a grand old time trying all the jams. My favorite was the strawberry jalapeno because I love like spicy, sweet, and salty like all in one. So I literally put that all over my biscuit. Right now we're just trying to find something to do in the rain. So I think we're going to go to Clyde's. I think it's like downtown. I'm not really sure. Um, and I think it's just like they have pool tables and like games and stuff like that. And the lady there said that they had candy bacon, which sold me I was like okay we need to go so hopefully I get to try that and I'm excited because this wasn't on my personal bucket list but I've heard a lot of good things about it when I was like researching about Nashville Parthenon or Pantheon, one of the two. It's the Parthenon. It's the Parthenon, Nashville style. We're gonna walk around this park and probably some chicken after, watch a UCF game, watch a dogs game, and, and then head back to Atlanta. So the real Parthenon is located in Athens, Greece, and I actually saw it. I'll try to insert a picture here because I just look so funny. I don't. Maybe like when I was 15, I'm really bad with ages. Sure, the Rome thing is the Pantheon, but this and the Athens Greece one is a Parthenon. I don't know what they mean and I don't get the difference, but I went to both in real life, the real ones. So that's pretty cool. It honestly just looks like a 
Washington DC like monument, you know? Yeah. So we're done at the Parthenon. It is currently 1214 here time, but our time 114. The game started at one. UCF has already scored a touchdown and LSU scored a field goal. Is that? Yeah, three. So seven, it's three to seven. So I need to get there fast because it looks like it's gonna be a good game. We're actually going to a bar called Tavern and I'm so excited because they have brunch too and they're actually doing brunch today. Most like restaurants say they only have brunch on like Sundays and Saturdays. So I'm very happy because I really need some brunch food right now. I was not really like feeling like hot chicken or anything like that. We were thinking about getting Hattie B's because like, I'm what? I'm feeling hot chicken, I don't know if you are. You are? Maybe we'll get it on our way out. I don't know, we'll see. So unfortunately Tavern was an hour and a half wait, but it looked really cool and I really, really wanted to go in. And then we were like, okay, whatever, we'll just pick up Hattie B's, go back to the place. Hattie B's isn't even open, so we can't even try Hattie B's because it's our last day here. And then we wanted Waffle House, and then literally at this location that we wanted to like pick up an order from, they were like, we're not doing to-go orders for this specific location. So now, we're at McDonald's, <laughs> which isn't horrible, but you know, I just really want like breakfast stuff, so we got some hash browns, and we should be good to go. Um, UCF is currently winning right now, and I'm really excited to see the rest of the game. Well, you guys had a really big pick six. Babe, what does that mean? So you have you to guys like... had interception and ran in for touchdown. Okay. That's like really huge. That's the kind of stuff you have to do to beat LSU. Mm. Georgia didn't do that kind of stuff, and we lost. Mm. But that's like, if you guys keep that up, it's going to be scary. And what's the score right now? 14-10. I told Ryan we have to make a pact. <laughs> We're going to make our teams win. And so he's going to root for my team and I'm going to root for his. And no negative LSU comments. LSU beat Georgia, so who knows? So what does that mean? He broke his headset. What the hell? 